Today I'm going to show you how to repot a lemon tree. Now this is the same for any kind of citrus um, or any kind of potted plant for that matter. These need to be repotted every two to three years. This one's been in this pot four years and as you can see it's showing signs of deficiencies, um, particularly in nitrogen and magnesium. What we're going to do is gather everything first. So we've got um, some good quality potting mix and mulch as well as a saw which is going to, we're going to use to cut the roots around the edge of the pot to ensure it comes out properly. We also have, I'm going to be repotting it into a barrel, a half barrel, which we've modified slightly by drilling four holes in the bottom and also by placing four casters on the bottom that allows us to move it around because once these are full of soil they are extremely heavy. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is get the plant out of the pot. Now, as you can see from this, the actual pot bows out a bit in this area, so we actually have to cut around the edge of the pot to ensure that that's going to slip out nice and easily. So it's just a matter of, and these, an old saw like this with a serrated edge makes it very easy to do. So we cut around the edge there. Now what we do is just slowly onto its side. I'm going to place this onto the soil. Roll it a few times and then gently pull it out. Okay. Now that's nowhere near as pot bound as I thought it would be, which is a good thing. If it was particularly pot bound, you could actually shave the sides and the bottom to relieve any of that matted root system. So, Obviously, there's a lot, the volume of that plant root system is going to be a lot less than what we've got in here, so we're going to do that. Now, this will take about three bags of potting mix. And like I said, it will be quite heavy once we get there. Okay, so you gently put, pick this up. Centre it in the pot, make sure it's at a reasonable height. So that's going to be okay. Any weeds. And then it's just a matter of backfilling. So make sure it's all centred. It always looks a lot better if it's centred. Now your modern potting mixes have wetting agent as well as slow release fertiliser so there's no need to add any of that kind of stuff. Okay, so you can see we've got that nice and level, push it down so that it's nice and firm. Back to, need to take it, it only needs to be at that level that it was in the other pot. If it's too high it'll, the root system will dry out, if it's too low then the, you're going to be causing root problems. Or, ring barking problems on the stem. Okay. Now I always like to put a layer of mulch over the top of that. Now there's a couple of reasons for doing that. It obviously stops the soil from drying out as quickly, but it also stops any weeds from germinating and that that really lovely fresh potting mix. Now your mulch should be at least 15 or 10 to 15 centimetres deep to give you good insulation. And again, spread it all over. Now, like with any mulching, make sure that the mulch doesn't come up and hit against the trunk of your tree, so you just taper it into the, the, that edge. And then it needs to be watered in well. And that plant will then be fine. Obviously you'd need to do regular fertilising and obviously very regular watering 
in any kind of pot situation. And you can find out more of that in the blogs post that I've got up on my web page about how to care for citrus in pots. But that will be fine now and probably in another three years I would repot it back into a similar size pot with a bit of root trimming to ensure that they've got space for growth.